Wilders. Now, when I told Senior Ranger Tammy from Moriolta Conservation Park that I wanted to explore the place, this isn't quite what I had in mind, clinging to a rock face 20 metres high. Although, I can't complain too much. This is pretty cool. I just don't want to look down. Ah! Moriolta Conservation Park is just out of Adelaide City and full of rugged ridges, gullies and large boulders, it is an explorer's heaven. Tammy has introduced me to rock climber Ian and we've taken to the cliffs to work our way up and down on a journey to the top for a different perspective of the park. Come on Tess, you're almost at the top, you can do it. I sent Tess up the cliff with Ian because while the view down the bottom of the gorge is great, it's absolutely spectacular from the top of the cliff. There's many great ways to explore the park. For those who enjoy the stroll, you can come up to the first falls, or for those that want a bit more challenging, can go up and hike through the valleys. And for those that are really adventurous, come and try the cliff climbing area. Just bring out the foot. Bring out the foot down to where the other foot is, match the feet from together. I'm going to be so glad <laughs> to stand on flat ground. <laughs> Ian, definitely a little bit scary, um, but I'm getting a bit more used to it. This is pretty cool. How high up are we? Well, we're nearly to the top, which is about 20 metres high. Pretty awesome. Well, and if I dare to look around behind me, we can see quite a view. Absolutely. Down below us is Forth Creek, and behind us is the city of Adelaide. Awesome view. Uh, how big is this park? This park is about 533 hectares. Really, really big. Wow. So can you just climb any rock structure that you want to explore? No, you can make sure that you climb the rocks that are available to climb. Also, the rock structure are going to be nice and solid and reliable. It can't be flaky or loose. What's the highest rock face that you've climbed before? Uh, I haven't climbed that high. Mine's about 200 metres, <gasps> but some of my friends have climbed a lot higher than that. Whoa, no thank you. What's the highest that you can climb? Different parts in the world have some great cliffs which go one, two, three kilometres high. It's <gasps> absolutely awesome. <gasps> That's when you actually sleep on the side of the rock face as you go up. Oh man, no thanks. <laughs> that is crazy. It's pretty scary, but it's fun. The climbing zones here at Moriata range in difficulty, and thankfully, Ian started me on an easier one. The rock itself is a quartzite structure with some layers of siltstone. Luckily, this structure has proved to be resistant to erosion, so it shouldn't be crumbling on me anytime soon. Oh, Wildest, I'm here. I have never listened to someone so much before in my life. Everything Ian said, I was just all ears. I'm so... Tammy, what are you doing up here? I know a shortcut. Oh, here's me thinking I had to rock climb to see the sights and get up here. This is incredible. Why is this whole native environment so close to the city? Um, back in the early 1900s, the property owner decided that uh, he would donate and sell off his land to the state government, but it was a condition of sale that uh, the area remained open for the public to come and access. And obviously, when you come up here in the park, bushwalking or rock climbing as you're doing, you see many different native species of birds. You might see a lazy koala down dozing in the trees. There's about 330 native plant species within the park, but unfortunately they've got a lot of um, competition from introduced species. Well, Wilders, <laughs> what goes up must come down. So now it's time to head to the bottom. This is done by abseiling, so I'm leaning back in my harness. Never done this before, quite an experience. I'm just going to shimmy my way slowly down. Wish me all the best. Oh, nice and slow.